Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you have read in the title, uh, I'm gonna be talking about my experience with the Network Plus and how I passed the exam. I will be giving you a brief back background of my knowledge in networking. I have taken a Network Plus class um, as a college class, but I I would say I, I really did not learn anything in that class. And while I was studying for this exam, I can't really say I could easily point back to any point in that class that I actually remembered learning what I was studying on my own. So that class obviously doesn't count in uh, what helped me in my background knowledge of this um, exam. On the other hand, I also did take a CCNA class. And as a lot of you know, the CCNA is a really broad exam and it covers a higher level of networking. So it did help to have the understanding that I got from the class because I learned a lot about networking in that class. I also did have hands-on knowledge of, of what I was learning. So I was able to actually practice what I was learning in that class. So that did give me a good, a solid background in, um, of networking before taking this exam. But um, I would say um, just, just taking those two classes alone were not enough for me to just sit down and take this exam. There were other things I did to study and pass for this exam. So you might be wondering, why did I, why Network Plus? Um, a lot of people usually go straight to the CCNA. Some people think the Network Plus is not necessary, but I believe that to be a good cybersecurity professional or information security professional, a, f a solid knowledge of networking is important. And I, the Net CompTIA Network Plus gives you a really, really good foundation for that. CompTIA Network Plus covers a large array of topics in networking, a vast area of not topics in networking. And I had fun studying for this exam. Like, I, I like studying for this exam was was like learning a lot of like new concepts that I did have um, um, I did have previous knowledge of, but it was really fun trying to understand these concepts and how they work. Um, but at the same time, this exam was also really demanding. Like this was actually one exam that I had burnout studying. I, like, I don't think I've ever had burnout studying or like um, got into a point in studying where I couldn't retain any more information. But this, it, it, while I was studying for this exam, I did have burnout study for this exam, but that does not mean like that that would be everyone everyone else's experience or that would be my experience in ev any other exam. So another thing is I also have the CompTIA A plus exam, and if you've not watched the video about my CompTIA A plus exam, I will leave a link to it in one of the cards somewhere up here. So make sure to go ahead and watch the video. The CompTIA A plus exam gives you a good foundation for other higher level certifications because it covers a really, really good amount of, of topics you might meet in the Network Plus. So if you can afford to take the exam and if you are willing to take the exam, I would recommend that you take the CompTIA A Plus exam before Network Plus exam. Some people usually think the CompTIA A Plus is too low level or it's not important. I believe that it was it was a good decision to take the exam. So if you are taking if you want to take the Network Plus in, in the future, I would definitely recommend you start with CompTIA A plus exam. It might not be like the determining factor for your success, but it still has the role that it plays um, as a pre predecessor to the Network Plus exam. So how did I study for this exam? So I spent four weeks and four days, exactly four days studying for this exam. And as a lot of you might know, I got A plus certified in July. So my plan was to get this certification by September. So I gave myself about a month or a two month time span. So my plan was latest by the end of September, I would have the certification. So I started studying first week, I believe first or second week in August. And just like I did for the CompTIA A plus exam, I made sure to make my study to be consistent. Every single day I was doing a chapter or a section in my study plan. So before I started the, the exam, I made sure that I knew all the study materials I was going to use and I set a, a study plan, a daily study plan. So uh, that is really important if you're trying to do the Network Plus exam or any certification exam. I would recommend that you have a set study plan. And with this study plan, you can then calculate the possible date that you would take this exam. So right after I set my study plan, I immediately set my exam date for about 30 about 30 days after 
my complete study plan. I did eventually have to reschedule my exam for a week after so that I could spend more time preparing for the exam because I didn't really feel prepared on my first scheduled date. So that's another thing. Make sure that you have a date scheduled for your exam so that you can work towards that date. That way you're, 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 you're working consistently towards making sure that you're done with your studying and taking your exam at your scheduled date. But don't feel pressured to take the exam at your initial scheduled date because you might not be ready. So just like I did, you, you can end up rescheduling it once or twice or as, as long as you feel that you're ready, just make sure that you schedule to accommodate your study plans. So for studying, I used more materials than I did with the A+. So for this exam, I, my first and major study material was the Mike Mayer's Udemy course, which I got on Udemy for about $12 or so. Uh, that's just an estimate of, of I, I just, it, it might be more or less, but it's just around 10 to $12. And I got it on sale. The course usually goes for about $90, but Udemy does run their sales every now and then. So you guys know on this channel, I always talk about Udemy. Udemy is a really great resource. So always keep an eye out for the sales they do every other week or every other month so you can catch these courses at a cheap price. I would never recommend you pay $100 for this course. Make sure you catch them at their discount price. So the Mike Mayer's Udemy course, I chose Mike Mayer's because for A+, Mike Mayer's course was really all encompassing and it was the same thing for the Network Plus too. It was everything you need to know for the Network Plus and more. So it was just a, just a lot of information. That's why I chose it as my, my first major resource. And then my second resource was Jason Dion's Udemy course. So Jason Dion's Udemy course was more straightforward and concise. It was just everything you need to know for the Network Plus. So that was my second resource. Then my third resource was Professor Messer's YouTube course. Professor Messer is just uh, the best. Also, um, I forgot to mention Jason Dion's course was also about twelve dollars or so. So also you can you can also get that on sale on Udemy because uh, it usually goes for about a hundred dollars as well. So catch that on sale on Udemy as well. So back to Professor Messer's course on YouTube. Professor Messer's course on YouTube was everything you need to know for the network plus literally every single thing in the objective it goes into each detail like detail by detail so it's literally the objective and everything you need to understand in the objective so professor master's course it's free on youtube so you don't have to pay anything for that so make sh make sure you use that course because some people actually just use this course and pass the exam i would recommend you use as many resources as you can so that you can draw your information from different uh different authors or different tutors so professor master's course and also his study groups. So his Network Plus study groups go about 112 videos or so, but I only did the last 24, the, 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 the most recent 24 videos. That is like the last two years of study groups. So he does the study groups every month. So you can go there, go into the, the, the playlist on YouTube and go over those videos. Those videos are just he makes his own questions that are similar to the Network Plus exam questions. In the study group, he answer, asks the questions and answers the questions and explains the answers and everything like that. So that was another resource I used. I also use Professor Messer's course notes. His course notes are also really, really good. Like they go over, they're just like his videos, but they're in, 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 in note version. So you can just read through it. So it was about 74 pages. So I read through it. I really liked it because it gave me all the, all the information in just simple bullet points and it was really, really informational. So that was another resource that I used. And finally, I used Jason Dion's practice, um, ex his practice exams on Udemy, which also went for about $12 or so. So he's, the practice exam course has about six practice exams and the, all of these practice exams all have different questions. I would definitely recommend you use these practice exams as your last resource so that you can kind of gauge your knowledge of the different things you've learned and then based on your scores in the practice exams you can go back and revise on things that you might not have really gotten and the good thing about his practice exam is they they also show you the areas that you might be lacking in so you can based on those areas you can go back and like study over again and just try to figure out those things that you might not be getting right in the practice exam. I would also recommend you don't try to cram answers or cram questions for practice exam because um, as much as the questions might be similar to what you might face in the in the real exam, 
it's not like the, it's not the way to go and for me the questions i got in the practice exam on all six practice exams were in no way similar to what i got in the exam so what really worked for me was actually understanding what i got wrong and going back and revising all those things because that's that's the way you get to solidify the concept you're learning in any course or in any certification exam so those were the the, the materials that i used for studying this exam um and i would say this this exam was a really really great learning experience for me and i um come to you really did a really great job with the difficulty of this exam um it's i would say it's a decently difficult exam so i would not underestimate the ex exam i would make sure that i go over all these resources and make sure that i'm, I'm i feel prepared or not before taking the exam so another thing about the exam is i did the exam online so i made the the exam was pro online so i made sure to test my computer before taking the exam and they also made sure to they made me turn off me turn off my um my 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 to make sure I turned off my display, um, I unplugged the power and everything. Just make sure you know the rules for online exams before you take the exam so that you're not, you don't get caught up in any kind of issues on the day of the exam. Finally, I would just say have fun studying for this exam. Like, have fun. Like, actually try to understand these concepts because when you understand them, it just makes it so much easier. So have fun studying for the exam. Make sure you understand everything that is going on. Use as many resources as possible. Some people like textbooks. Uh, Mike Mayers has a good um, textbook. And there are also so many other textbooks that you could use to study for the exam. So make sure you utilize those resources. And once again, do not underestimate the exam. Uh, make sure that you understand all the concepts and make sure that you are sure and ready for taking the exam. This is just, this is really my experience with the exam. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And um, I will be coming up with some, uh, with some different content in the next couple of weeks. Uh, this is a lot I've been working on and I would love to share with you guys. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you share and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I drop new videos. I'll see you in the next video.